Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look into some of the DAX functions which are rarely used. Let me actually walk through the a problem which was posted in a Power BI community forum. And then uh, there was a solution which I provided and that's what I'm going to show in this video. So let's look at the problem first. So here the user ask is like generate a table of missing values using DAX. So what does that mean is? So he has a group and then there is a start and end range. So A has two to five, A same group seven to nine and so forth so on. So when, he's, when the user said missing values, what he want to see is like for group A, the starting value is minimum values two and the maximum values 15. So between two and 15, if there is any missing value, the user want another table for that. So here is the output the user expecting. So it's so like for A, it would be six because two to five, there are values. And then the six is missing with starting from seven, seven, eight, nine, then 10 and 11 missing. And then 12, 13, 14, 15. So these are the three missing value for A group. And for B group, these are the missing values. So. That's, this is a really interesting um, uh, problem. Uh, I did provide a solution using generate, generate series function, which are and generate all. These functions are uh, not commonly used. So what I will do is I will walk through these functions uh, just to give uh, what these functions does. And then we will go through the solution. So let's get to Power BI and take a look at this whole thing. So here in Power BI, I did um, uh, imported that sample data which user provided so that we can run our solution against this data to see uh, if the result set comes out to be the same as what the user has expected. So before we do that, I'm going to talk about three functions which are used in this uh, to solve this is generate, generate series and generate all. So let's first look at the generate, what does that do? So I will just create another table here just to, just to go through this. If you already know this, you can skip this part of the video. Um, that, that's not important, but if you never use this, so at least it will help you understand what these functions does. So first of all, let's say generate series. So I'm gonna call the table name is generate series. What does this function is? It's called, like, as you can see, there are three functions, generate, generate all and generate series. In this solution, fortunately I have to, I end up using all these three. So generate series, what is a uh, parameter start and an incremental value. So if we go like start from 10, finishing at 20, maybe incremental value of two. And if we just use this, what we are going to get is another table. So as you can see, the table is created called table generate series. So we have a 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So the increment starting from 10 up to 20 with the increment of two. So that's the generate series. So let's look at what the generate does. So let's create another table, a new table. So the uh, let's call it table generate. So if we put generate, so let's see what are the parameters it is expecting. It's expecting table one and table two. So basically the second table expression will be evaluated for each row in the first table, return the cross join in of the first table with these results. So let's, let's try to create some dummy tables here so that we can pass those tables to, um, so let's call it table one, maybe create a value one and two, and let's create a table two where we will put the value maybe A, B, C. So we have now two tables, one and two and A, B, C. So if we go return, so generate as this function as looking for two tables, so table one comma table two. So let's see what the result we get. Quickly take a look. So uh, there is some error. So the error is it says the generate does not allow two columns with the same name value. So when we create a table like this, it's by default, the name is value. So let's, uh, we can change it. You can say select 
columns from this table and maybe we can give the name table 1 and the values value so the table 1 the column name will be actually we should not call it table 1 call it column 1 so it's clear and then the same thing we can do here uh, select columns from ABC so this is a table and we can call it column 2 and value so basically by default the column name is value so the generate gave us the error that you can't have the both tables with the same uh, name so now we have it should work if I press uh, enter execute this okay so let's look what this table gives to us all right so if we sort it by column one uh, sort ascending so what we have here is one 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 so basically each row in the table one which is one value one and two giving us the full cross join and giving all the values from the table b so for one we have abc and for two we have abc so that's what uh, generate does and then the third function which we going to look into that is generate all so let's see what the generate all does all so which i copied from my um, so basically we have a table one and table two so let's run it let's see what the result of the generate all is so so generate all almost gave the identical uh, result as uh, generate so what is the difference between these two let me show you quickly what the difference is so if I filter my table 2 let's say it does not have any row and what happens so filter let's say if I go say filter select columns and then uh, maybe I filter a column 2 uh, oops column 2 uh, is equal to x because there's no x value in here so what what table 2 will be then in this case blank empty no rows will get returned so if we are using table generate all so the rows from the first table is showing up even the there is no rows in the uh, second table but if we use the same with generate and table 1 and table 2 so the result set would be different what would happen if there is no rows in the second table it will not even row, return the row from the first table so that is the main difference between generate and generate all how these works so I'm gonna put it back to generate all and so th this is just to quickly uh, go over all these three uh, different functions generate generate series and generate all um, so let's go back to our solution um, so what the user is looking for is create a table with the missing value so let me create a start a new table so I am going to measure new table let's call is a missing value table we can use the Meyer as well but users specifically ask for the table so that's why we're creating a table here so first let's start with a now how are we going to use the generate series function so let's quickly go through that what we need to do is first we need to iterate over a this as our a first table and then this will be our series right so that's the start and end and then this is the a, a table which we will use so it means we will use the values of the uh, group and then start and end generate the series so let's quick, quickly first do that so what we will do is so as we've seen generate which is a table so that will be our uh, a actual data table and then what we want to do is so we want to create the series uh, all the values from 2 to 5 7 to 9 and 12 to 15 so what we will do then generate series and then we will use table start and table end so what this is going to do it's going to iterate over each row in our table and then 
taking the start and end values and creating that full range. So let's see what does this return quickly. So if we look into when we run this expression, so if we go to the missing value table now, so as you can see, for what we have is a group, each group, the A, the first is a start and end. Now we get the two, three, four, five. And then the second row in, in our original table, seven to nine, then seven, eight, nine. So basically now it is kind of unpivoted and uh, filled up the range um, between start and end. So that's the first part. So now we know for each group, uh, now if I look at the A, I know now the starting value is two and the ending value is 15. So it means between two and 15, I need to find out what is the missing value. Now I know the starting value for each group. For B, I know the starting value is 44 and the ending value is 63. Now I need to find out between 44 and 63, what are the missing value? And that is what the solution is going to be. So how are we gonna do that? So let's go back to our table we are creating. I'm gonna store this table in a variable. So let's call it a group with range or whatever name you like to give it. And then what we want to do is we want another table which will be uh, a same group but with all the values, no missing values in there. Like for A, for example, uh, just quickly, let me actually bring this down a little bit so we can see it. Uh, for A, what currently we created, it gave us the 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, but it did not give us 6 and uh, 10 and 11. So what we want to do is create a a similar table like a, the what we did but what we want to do is start from the for each group start from there its minimum value and go up to the maximum value so for a we will start from 2 and go up to 15 so that will fill all the uh, rows and similar for b we will start from 44 and end up at 63 so how are we going to do that so let's uh, call it group with full range and similar thing, what we will do is um, maybe actually we don't need uh, other columns, value of tables and just group. So this, this is going to return us a unique value of the group. And then for the generate series, now we cannot go with the start and end. So value group means here is, so we kind of grouped all A's and B's together. And now what we can do here is a, use a um, minimum value so that will be in case of a it will be 2 and go up to the maximum value and in this case I will use generate all uh, or I can actually keep the generate or generate all, uh, but I think for some reason I use generate all in case there is no uh, min and max value, which is very less likely. But I think uh, if we use generate or generate all, it would work. Uh, let's go with the generate all and then return this table and see what we get. So if we run this. So previously we ran, uh, which gave us uh, two to five, seven to nine range. And now we ran from the starting point of that group to the maximum point, uh, minimum to maximum. So if we see now A, what we have is group A and the value two to uh, 15. So it has all the values, two, three, four, five, and also the missing value, which was not there before six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and so going up to 15. So all the range starting from the minimum value within the group, which is two and went up to the maximum value, which is 15. For B, the minimum value is 44, started from 44 and end up at 63. So we have now all the values for each group. So now this is very, very easy from here. What we can do is, so we have this table with the missing value, but it, it is like a, have all the ranges, but does not have the missing value. And this one has the full range. So what we can do here is simply 
uh, we can use the accept function what we can do in accept uh, we can go because the, the second table we have there is only two columns one is group and other one is value and in here we have a uh, let me actually return back the same table again just to show what uh, this table has so it has four columns uh, let's go back and it has a group value which is our a, a running uh, a, a series value and start and end so now in in the other table we have only um, a group and value so what we can do here is so we can have accept so what accept function is looking for left side table right side table return the rows of left side left side table which do not appear in the right side table so our it means left side table will be the full range of each group and the right hand table will be the one with the values and then anything missing uh, from the um, uh, left table uh, which is which is not in the right table so it will return that 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 table those values and that will be our missing value so what we're going to do here is um, our group with full range and group with the uh, maybe call it actual range so we can pick columns from that particular table so we need group with actual range and the columns what we need is group and the second column we need is value start and end we don't care so now if I run this I expect it to work alright so let's look at the missing value table alright here you go so now what we have is uh, three missing value in A which is 6, 10, 11 and four missing values in B which is 49, 50, 58, 59 so if we just quickly look at the raw data here maybe put bring this uh, uh, new table which we created next to it just to compare and note summarize we don't want it to summarize okay so as you can see let me make it a little bit bigger to maybe 16 so what we have is a 2 3 4 5 and the 6 is missing then 7 8 9 then 10 and 11 is missing so that's what we go, uh, got in this table 6 10 and 11 for b we were missing 49 and 50 that's what it is and then after 57 we are missing 58 and 59 that's what it is it's interesting uh, problem i really enjoyed solving it i hope you learned few few things out of this how this generate generate all and generate series are not commonly used functions but they are very very powerful let me know what you think about this video uh, until next video have a good day do subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye for now